Bacteria are fascinating little creatures. Some make us sick, some make us well, some keep us happy or healthy. So how do we program them to do our evil bidding? <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to DNews Today, I'm Trace. Inside of your gut right now, trillions of bacteria are helping you digest food and keeping your gut in tip-top shape. Millions of years of evolution have molded these tiny little organisms into specific jobs, and now science is gonna take it from here. Because gut bacteria live inside of all humans, the ability to program them could be a cornerstone of a whole new kind of medicine. You have problems with lactose? We got bacteria for that. Worried about obesity? We got a bacteria that can help. These little organisms already do so much that we don't even completely understand, and now by altering some of them that we do understand, scientists are hoping to develop new kinds of therapy. The hospital-acquired infection P. aeruginosa is a doozy of a bug that infects the lungs, gut, and bladder and creates a film of proteins, DNA, and sugars called a biofilm. That biofilm makes P. aeruginosa difficult to attack with traditional medicines like drugs. But in a study from ACS Synthetic Biology, researchers found a new solution. Recruit a fellow infectious agent to the side of the light. Some strains of E. coli cause dangerous infections, and some don't. But because it's found in nearly everyone's lower intestine, medical researchers took it and reprogrammed the bacteria to fight P. aeruginosa. This new synthetic E. coli is like a hunting dog tracking down P. aeruginosa and attacking its biofilms with enzymes and an antimicrobial peptide. Boom! Double agent. And that's just the beginning. Since they proved the efficacy of this new treatment, another set of researchers want to create a toolkit for using gut bacteria moving forward. Programming a bacteria isn't as easy as like typing commands into a computer though. Scientists are basically inventing a whole new system of tools to make sure one, the bacteria are even present in the gut once they're added, and two, if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing once they're all up inside of you. Using the retroviral DNA editing technique CRISPR, we've talked about it on DNews before, researchers at MIT modified the DNA of Bacteroides theta atomicron, adding light-emitting genes and instructions to glow if they came in contact with a certain diet. 46% of humans have Bacteroides in their bodies. This gut microbe normally uses water to help our intestines break down non-digestible polysaccharides, but this new synthetic form could be used to indicate when problems are starting in our gut or to treat those problems before they even happen. Next steps are to see if these synthetic bacteria can live alongside their natural brethren without causing trouble, and then test to see if they can then survive in the wild, in a real gut. Let's imagine a patient had inflammatory bowel syndrome, or even C. diff. The researchers say, using this toolkit, a synthetic gut bacteria might allow doctors to treat the problems before they even show symptoms. How would you even know something was up? Well, <laughs> your poop would glow. That's weird but awesome. Programming bacteria is the future, so figuring out how it works is a real focus of science right now. But medical researchers aren't the only ones doing cool stuff. Intel creates the breakthrough technologies that make amazing experiences possible. Having Intel inside makes for a better experience outside. Intel drives innovation with products like processors, wearables, and devices for the Internet of Things, and within data centers as well, in the PC and beyond. But what do you think? You want some glowing poop? Let us know in the comments, and make sure you come back to DNews every single day for more science.